Hello and welcome, Andy from Chromograph Photo Art here. And today is a very special shoot. Let me show you what I'm going to take first and then I'll tell you all about it. So, behind me we've got the derelict phone box and the abandoned unit with the signs, the, the classic signs slightly falling into uh, disrepair. There's a mannequin in the window. Everything's a little bit overgrown and it's not open. Now this used to be the Eden Reclamation Yard where you could go and buy all these things, but it's not open now. There's somebody still there because I, I saw a trailer the other day, but I think they were taking things away rather than bringing them. So yes, I think this is probably awaiting redevelopment once the uh, Garden Village Beyond uh, is completed. So I brought my digital, my Fuji X-T5, which I'm going to use for this shoot. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to recreate a shoot I did here with my Bronica medium format camera. And why am I doing this? Well, because I was approached by a company called Dehansa who've just introduced a new film simulation plugin for Lightroom. And they've asked me to test it for them, which is great. They're not paying me any money, but they have let me have the use of their plugin to see if I can produce something with it. Now, I'd already done a shoot here with the Bronica. It was equipped with a 75 millimeter, AKA standard lens using both monochrome and color film. So what I'm going to try and do is reproduce those shots with my Fuji as near as possible. Then I'm going to use Dehancer to see if I can replicate the look of film properly. Is it possible? Should I do it? I don't know, but let's give it a try anyway. This location probably won't last forever and then it'll be gone and all this stuff will be just a memory. And then we'll just all have these, these horrible new houses here. Right, let's get set up. So just as with the Bronica, I'm going to set it up on the tripod. And just as with the Bronica, I'm going to make sure it's properly leveled up before we start. So everything as, just patient and slow. So I can't quite, with this focal length, get them both in when I'm facing exactly that way. So I'm gonna to have to use an angle a little bit and just as with the Bronica, so I'm not gonna cheat on using my zoom or anything like that. We're gonna stick at 35 millimeters, but I do have the benefits of the tripod to level things up. So, need to get those signs in the background. Now, I think we want to be up a little bit. Yes, so we've got the signs in, we've got the phone box in. Let's use an F8 or an F11. And that's giving us approximately 25 seconds at 400. So let's go down to 200, it's giving us a thirteenth of a second. So we've got the signs, we've got the phone box. Gone down to ISO 1125th, which is the lowest. We're not going to put any exposure compensation on. So we've got it lined up, we're all level. Let's take the first shot. And there we have it. Let's see if that worked out. So that's that shot done. Let's move a bit closer and take some pictures of the signs, which I think are the main interest here. Although the phone box could be a good subject. I think we need the light behind us. That's one thing we haven't got today is I was hoping for some sort of pink fluffy clouds as we get closer to sunset. It's now around nine o'clock, but those haven't materialized. So the light is reasonably flat. Okay, let's get set up for the next one. Okay, so we're set up again, and just to say, this is the 16 to 80 f4 lens, uh, Fujifilm X-T5, tripod, 
set up my next composition. I just need to fine tune it now. So all the elements are still in place. I'll walk over there and say what they are. So there's the two enamel signs, metal, probably from the 1920s or 30s, I would guess. Um, and then we've got the plants growing up, the decaying wooden, uh, well, the de decaying chipboard, other plants growing up. In the window here, we've got the dusty mannequin with just the one arm. We've got various things piled up. So let's get to it. Now, one problem is, is there's a different aspect ratio. So this camera is three by two, uh, and the Bronica is six by four and a half. So that means that the Bronica is square. So I'm not gonna get exactly the same compositions, but I think we're fairly well lined up. I can always crop off to one side or another. I do like the juxtaposition of, of the two elements of the signs and the uh, lonesome mannequin. I might try some variations because I've got the digital camera to try it with, but essentially I'm trying to do the same shots in these. Self timers on. Let's go for it. I do like the colour combinations, those reds and blues really pop. Then you've got the greens underneath. Right, I'm going to move over a little bit and see if I can fine tune this a bit. A bit less foreground. Got a little bit of something I don't want in the corner there. Can I? Get rid of it by rotating it round. No, I can't. So that would have to be cropped off. There's a, a shiny element, reflect a mirror or a glass thing just reflecting in the corner there. So that would have to be cropped, but otherwise it's not too bad. Right, here we go. Still at F11, still at 35 millimeters. So I'm going to do one of the actual mannequin window and it might work better with the uh, APS-C format because it's slightly longer and narrower than the uh, Bronica was. I struggled to fit that in, so I'm going to have a go at that now. What the struggle is here is you're, you're getting part of the Bernard and Alger's fertiliser sign in that composition. So I might go in really close at some point, but let's get on with it because it's cold and it's getting dark. <laughs> Okay, we're just about level now. So, camera's been raised up a little bit so I can make it more level vertically. I've got the composition now. The sign on the right is intruding, but if I go too far over that way, I then get the other window. So it's compromise. So now we're just set up for this sign and this sign alone. There is a bit of uh, background creeping in, but we'll have to crop that out to the same ratio as the Bronica. Lovely, that's in the can. Okay, so final composition, camera set up, we're on the tripod, we're leveled as far as I know, and it's just the window with the mannequin in. On the left, there's a bit of a yellow splash. There's a bit of reflection, which is interesting. So we're getting a reflection of the scenery behind. That's kind of working, I think. So yes, this I think will work. Let's just do a little bit of focusing. I don't think it really matters. We're at F11, 35 millimetres, about half a second, I think, now. And the display on. Yeah, half a second, F11. 
again, again, what we have is the corner of that getting into the uh, shot, so I may have to crop it. Let's see if we can get these pictures to resemble the ones that the Bronica has made. Don't forget, you can also save 10% of all Dehamster products except the IR subscription by using the code CHROMOGRAPH or CAPITALS at checkout. Link in the description below. Okay, thanks for watching this, this vlog. I'll do a third one, which is a comparison between the results with and without using Dehansa and see whether it matches up to the claims that it does a complete film simulation job. So I've been Andy from Chromograph Photo Art. Thank you for watching and hopefully I'll see you in the next one. Bye for now.